Welcome Aquarius, we're doing your reading, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars. Don't just put yourself in your sun box, check out your other placements. We're here to expand. <laughs> All you see is just me going, oh, expand our consciousness to learn, to, yeah, to shine to bring in abundance, independence, whatever it is, it's wish fulfillment, two nines here. I I can with me, with me and with you. Let's get one more card. Five of wands, four of swords, okay? So look at this shebangles. Look at these shebangles. You go from eight of cups to nine of uh, cups, right? leaving something that no longer serves you that's no longer fulfilling for your soul for your growth whatever this is for you it could be a job relationship um these are cups though this is emotional uh, emotional unfulfillment look what's in between we got the ace of wands this is a gift from the universe that you will be either given or you're already given and wondering whether or not you should be taking it this is something new so a lot of us, what happens when uh, there's something new, right? We retreat. The ego goes, whoa, 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 new? We like old. We like, li because the ego doesn't like to do anything. It likes to reminisce on the past. It likes nostalgia because it's a form of stagnation. When there's a new, <laughs> there you go. When there's a new one coming in here, right? This is a gift from the universe saying, you're ready, baby. You're ready to go level up, right? You go from eight to nine, but guess what? I'm not going to grasp it. You got to grasp it. Like no one else is going to take this opportunity for you. You need to receive. So here we are, right? We're learning to receive Aquarius. This is all about reflecting, taking a time out, focusing on why are we still here? Why haven't we opened up to receive yet? But guess what? after after you say yes after you know like an improv yes and nine of pentacles independence abundance it's gonna require change though change five of wands feeling a little stagnant and then i guess woof, energy's moving fast you guys right now uh i don't know who noticed but we're in september today where the did the summer go so uh let's clarify as I open this up, we got Ace of Cups. You got brand new beginnings coming in, but once again, it's up to you, Aquarius, how you are receiving. What's your reception? What's your reception? <laughs> Is your reception on? Are you catching the vibes that people are giving out or are they going over your head? Are you open? Mother. Wow, judgment. Are you open to change? Are you open to new feelings, new... Oh, Nine of Cups again! It's different deck. Wish fulfillment is going to require a new version of you. Whatever you've been looking at right now, it is time to read. It's time to show the universe you know your worth. And that's not a diss to any cross watcher. That's not a diss to anyone. When you show the universe your worth, when you stop fixating, putting your focus on one thing, it rewards you with something else that's beautiful for you in that moment, right? Let's go. Eight of swords. Ah! Eight of swords, eight of cups, nine of cups twice. It's these thoughts, what ifs, right? Oh, but it's so comfy because the ego is comfortable looking at the past. That's how it survives. It's so comfortable. It does not want you to grasp this new beginning because it's going to lead you away from sorry lane or memory. <laughs> sorry lane, memory lane. Svetlana, do you want to keep going? <laughs> nostalgia lane um and it's gonna require you to leave the ego to stop feeding the ego and the ego is hungry 24 7 baby like me it's yum yums it's yum yums yeah queen of pentacles with nine of pentacles it's all about you baby now growing your 3d your emotional intelligence uh taking care of yourself focusing on your growth right watering your soul your spirit, your garden. I can't. We go from eights to nines. And you know what's next? Ten. Yeah. <laughs> Five of ones, please. Wow. Three cards flew out. Wow. Three of swords. 
surprised I'm not. Empress and freaking Justin. Heavy Libra. Heavy Libra here. Um, and Earth. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. But guess what? Aquarius, Aquarius. Things are coming into just as they're balancing out. Once you show the universe, I'm the Empress. I am learning these lessons. I'm taking these swords out, right? These are ideas. These are new concepts. These are new way of looking at things. And that's what's going to propel you forward from this five of wands. This, if you want to, stagnation, what a time of rest, time of whatever this is. But you've been looking down that cup, baby, for. I mean, it, it, there's like webs in it. Like the, even the spider about the home is like, yo, I'm moving. I'm moving out soon. Like what are what are you what are you doing, love? Right? Look at this through. Cre three and three creation you're creating from past experiences but you're not living in them you're creating new experiences do you see what i'm saying <laughs> do you see what i'm saying we are moving forward we got the cherry could be literally moving or this is just overcoming any obstacle and if you're thinking well there's no obstacles i'm free to do whatever i want mental mental obstacles uh eight of swords is mental uh, barriers we put upon ourselves because we might not think we deserve this nine of cups this nine of pentacles right but the universe is saying you're an empress right we are all here's the thing um we are all living this beautiful life through source energy right we're all source infinite beings we're all experiencing life where there's only oneness if you want to zoom out and look at it uh, I got this in meditation last night. We are all playing a part and you're a reflection of me. I'm a reflection. We're all one. There's no separation. Any form of separation, separation is an illusion. Once we come into that realization, we're all playing from one another off of each other. We're all learning off of each other. There's no right and wrong. There's no rule books. You are deserving as anyone, right? Because there's only one. So, and so do they deserve everything. Once you come into that, that's when you stop fixating on things that were, things that happen, right? Because when you're in nostalgia, when you're, you're telling the universe you're in lock, you're missing that thing that was over there and you're not satisfied right here in the now. And when you're not in the now, you're not present and you're not enjoying the moment. And the universe is like, baby, I got all these abundant, I got all these gifts. Oh, be present. Thank you. Be present for the presence to come. And I can't. We have too much fun here. Aquarius, I love you. What's your placement? Let me know down below. I'm an Aquarius moon. We got King of Cups coming in here. King of Cups. The Chariot. You have a, sorry about that. Anyone wearing head, uh, headphones could have a Concerian coming in here. Daddy, we got an emperor. We got a match. What the did I just say? Balance. We got harmony and balance coming in. Once you recognize your worth, once you start radiating, you start attracting an emperor, vice versa, right? Look at this. Just this. This could happen actually in October, um, Libra season. But it does not matter. Don't fixate on time. Don't fixate on nostalgia. Do I. I think this might be the first time I've used that word. A lot of you need to hear this because it's all coming in. Look at this. I'm not, I'm going to show you what else fell out. We got, remember, King of Cups. Start feeling your emotions. Start asking the universe for new emotions. Baby, you've been looking at this empty cup. You think, you think this emotion that you've been looking at and like feeding your ego, you think this is as good as it gets. Talk to the universe. Say, I want new. I want deep i want i want juicy emotions i want emotions i didn't even know existed i want i am ready to receive affirmation once you do that ten of pentacles and the chariot you're li look at this you go from knowing your worth radiating it to sharing it with others whatever this wish fulfillment is for you but it requires you to water this lotus with your love with your compassion, empathy towards self first. Everything else, it's it, it's then just a shower of abundance at this point. But this is a new way of doing, new way of thinking. Once, remember folks, 
your reality, your 3D can only change once you're, you change the way you think, the way you talk. Words are spells, energy, you create your reality. Whatever this is, it was put there by us. It's time to say we are not our mind, right? We are not our thoughts, we are not our body. We are an energy here to play, to explore. Chariot twice though. This is brand new beginnings. This is you taking control of things you create, right? Things you want to do, things you want to come into your 3D. Think it, feel it, and it will come in because the universe is here to play. And it's just waiting for you to raise up your eyes, to raise up your face, head, whatever it is, and to accept and receive this new beginning. Aquarius, this is beautiful. Love and pentacles? Baby, love and pentacles? <laughs> Underneath four of swords. It's the sun. Happiest card in the deck. I love you. I appreciate you. Thank you so much, Aquas. And um, anyone who came here to watch this, I hope there's something you could take out of it. 11, 11. I know you did. Thank you. Thank you for the likes, for um, subscribing to the channel, for your, all your support. I love you. I appreciate you. Namaste.